So good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Bindu Valur. I am the manager of academics outreach of Ahalya Group of Academic Institutions, Kerala. And uh, here uh, we had uh, given a session on what are the different courses that are available uh, that can fetch you good career opportunities two months ago. And then during that session, we had informed you that we will be having se similar sessions going forward where we will give you an outlook of what are the different courses available to you after plus two and how do you, what are the eligibility factors and which are the courses that that is going to get you a good career opportunities. So for that, we have a learned person here who has vast experience in counseling students, in talking to students and, and even mentoring students. And uh, let me introduce uh, Dr. S.N. Jagdish, who he is the principal of Ahalya School of Commerce and Mathematics. His, he has done his MSc, MBA, MPhil, and PhD in management. He has around 21 years of teaching experience. So the, uh, when I say he is a learned person, he has been dealing with students in day in and day out. So he knows what are the different, uh, what are the difficulties that students are facing when it comes to career. And uh, before uh, going ahead with the session, I'll just give you a brief about what Ahalya. Most of the students are from Ahalya Public School. That is the reason I did not give you a um, um, great uh, introduction about the institution because you are all, most of you are a part of Ahalya already. Uh, so here, uh, when I talk, when I talk about Jagdish sir, he is he is an experienced person. He knows what are the difficulties students face when uh, choosing a career or choosing a, a course, there are a lot of opportunities with them, but they don't know which one to um, go ahead and pick. And uh, the, the uh, advisors may come from different sources, and they may be forced to pick courses that they are not interested. Again, that will lead to a totally destroyed uh, career life. So here he is there to guide you and take you forward, and we will have um, so like the follow-up sessions of this. Don't think that this is the only session we are, you are going to hear or you are going to get from us. We will have similar sessions going forward on maybe but different topics, but we will be in touch with all of you and you can take us as your career uh, guidance source. So um, over to you, Jagdish sir. The floor is yours. And most yeah. of the students are from Ahalya Public School so that you know, we can have an ongoing interaction with them uh, henceforth also. And we have an amazing coordinator, Surya Kiran here. He has done a wonderful job in uh, informing the uh, his friends about this. Thank you, Surya, once again. Thank you. Good evening to participants. Uh, let's start the session. Yeah, sir, I'm not sure if the voice is not clear. I'm not sure if the mic is not clear. I'm not sure if the mic is not clear. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I think now it's clear. Ah, yes, it's clear now, sir. Okay, I'll present the slide. I think the topic we are discussing today is Explore your avenues after plus two. I think the slide is visible. Yes, sir, it's visible. Okay. It was a slideshow format, Lella, Sadharna PPT, Aitana Karnada. Uh, uh, slide show. Oh, shit, shit. Okay. Okay. Now, what is the stages in human life? In fact, it's divided into seven stages according to the theory. And uh, up to one year, it is one stage. One to three years, it, we call it as toddler. It's one, another stage. Three to five years, it's another stage. And the primary schooling stage, that is five to twelve years. And 13 to 19 years is another stage that is pituitary or adolescent stage. And next comes the adult stage as well as the old age person. So most of our students are in the adolescent or in the pituitary stage. In fact, in all the first four steps, your parents or your guardians will be guiding you. But when you come to the adolescent stage, the parents along with yourself decide, see the picture itself, decide what you want. And in the education field, naturally, you would have come to the plus two stage and what you should do. In fact, this is the most confusing stage in your life uh, because uh, you may not know which direction to take. There are multiple options available. So here the direction is the four of Naturally, initially, the coursework that you do at this particular point of time is 
classified as plus two. And in that, you would have selected different options. You would have selected a science option or a mathematics option or a commerce option or an arts option when you finished your SLC. But what you have selected is best irrespective of the fact that whether you have got that you have not selected or you are not able to get a seat based on your aid. But you don't have to get worried. There are different options for all the courses, all the courses you have selected. Let's look into the different streams I was telling. So in plus two, there are four types of streams. One is a maths group, biological group, and commerce group, as well as humanities group. And the different options for these groups are the technical courses, basically the engineering or related to pure sciences. Science courses, again, extremely pure sciences. Apart from that, we have got management courses, law courses, design uh, courses, and in the education field, as well as architecture courses, that is, uh, those people who have maths group. Apart from that, whether you want a degree program, you can also go for the less duration programs like diploma courses and things like that. We look into all these courses. Uh, based on the group you have selected, either it is maths, or that is a science group, or a commerce group, or a humanities group. So, after plus two, you can have different options. You can start a business. You are, even if you don't want to study still further, you can have your own business in whichever area you want. That depends upon your aim. You can be an engineer in a specific specific area itself. After plus two itself, you are going to have a specialization areas. That is, engineering can be an engineer. You can be a um, doctor in a med medical field, or or you have you have uh, your courses. That is, we are also in a specialization. It is in mathematics. It can be in physics. It can be in chemistry, and if you are going for engineering courses, you can go for architecture courses, etc. And if you are going for humanity courses, you can go for art and design courses. You can have exclusive literature courses, where there is tremendous scope because translation plays a major part in this literature course. Apart from that, if it's your passion, you can be a musician and things like that. Now we will see the different opportunities of different these three groups. But when you have taken maths group, you have got opportunities in engineering, pharmacy, uh, architecture, BCA, that is Bachelor of Computer Application. You can have, uh, apart from this maths, you can have this management course, that is BBA, you can have a law course, and all other courses we see one by one. So if you have got a maths group, the first option that usually people opt is a technical course, that is an engineering course. It's a course which is of four years duration, and uh, after this degree course, you can go for uh, the higher level, either in the master MTech course or master's level in that particular area, or you can divert to the management level or to law courses. So there are different, as you can, it's visible, um, the different technical courses, I mean, different areas of engineering or technical courses, either in mechanics mechanical, electrical, civil, instrumentation, um, electronics, petroleum engineering. So these, these courses are very few courses, but usually it is available. The aeronautic, aeronautical engineering, I think, is a bit expensive. Apart from that, the, all these courses are naturally available. Uh, here, the, more people are already studied that, but some of the courses you know, we have not exploited much. Such courses are agricultural engineering, dairy technology and engineering, agricultural information technology. All these courses have got, are not being exploited much. But then where there is tremendous scope available in these uh, engineering courses for those people who have taken maths course. And if, they, if they, this is a four year degree program, and if you do not want a four year degree program, you can have a diploma courses relating to the same fields also as as in the degree program. The duration of this diploma course is just three years and um, 
Oh, and if you can have a uh, later on, if you want to have a higher level or you want to still have specialization and go for a degree, you can have a lab for the LP into any of these. I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, Jagdish sir. Uh, um, sir, of my culture jarring item the voice up on the ടെക്നോളജി <laughs> the electronics robotics engineering all these are the most uh, demand engineering courses either in the degree uh, stage or in the diploma stage but the difference between diploma and degree level are a bit tech or be or be architecture is only the duration of the course uh, next those people with maths background can have science courses that is pure line courses Uh, if you want to have specialization in particular area, or you are interested in only one particular area, not in engineering, or you can have different types of courses. Those courses are called as B.Sc., uh, Bachelor of Science. And as you can see, there are different kinds of uh, courses depending on uh, even the latest. Apart from this, there are certain other latest option courses. And after this, you can go for a higher level, uh, that is in the master's level. MSc or MBA and LLB. Next, the part of you can go the maths group now. Um, you have you have got the option to go for a, a different field altogether. That is a law courses. Uh, in fact, the law courses there is an integrated law course. Uh, that is after plus two itself you can study law. Uh, this is a national. Uh, there is an exam for that national law exam to be passed entrance exam for that and. Uh, in the national level, but in different universities, even after degree, you can have this law course in any in degree. So this is a part of plus two itself. You can go directly get into a different field altogether, not in the math sector, but in a new field altogether. And in the in the latest advancing field, that is the management field, and up, after plus two, you can have uh, uh, integrated management courses as well as degree management courses. In fact, the degree management courses are uh, classified into different uh, sectors. Mostly, all these courses have a more or less the same content, only a small variation depending on the area or specialization that is taken. If you can go for BBA course, Bachelor of Management Science, integrated course as I told you, and Bachelor of Auto Management, Retail Management. The program is also a diploma in Retail Management as well as degree degree in Retail Management. And after that, you can have architecture course, which is a tremendous course. Only the duration is slightly higher. There. And next, apart from that, if you got a maths group, you can go for designing courses. And in fact, the designing courses are uh, is a four-year duration course. And uh, to get a uh, the into into the designing course, you need that you need to have an uh, entrance examination for that. In fact, the All streams of plus two students can have this designing course. In fact, the duration of the course is four years. And apart from that, you can have the phys physical education courses. In fact, uh, math students, if, if you think you 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 are after that you are interested in your sports activities or things like that, or you want to go to yoga, uh, which at the present uh, scenario, the yoga and other kinds of related. Uh, Courses are getting more importance. In fact, you can go for physical education courses, which is about um, after plus two with 50% marks. And you can also go for fashion courses. Here, this is uh, I think not uh, much of people would have heard about this fashion courses, and it can be either in bachelor of uh, fashion designing and technology. There are other courses like BDES, B BF Tech, BSc in fashion design. We see in fashion merchandising. See how it is an advancing field. Apart from that, after maths also you can go for it. That is both biology as well as maths person can go for pharmacy courses. And in fact, there is an entrance for it. I think uh, the common uh, all India level entrance is me. And uh, there are other state governments are also conducting entrance for that. 
And if you want, if you are very rich and you have got a tremendous amount of finance to invest, you can go for commercial private trade. In fact, yeah, Max and uh, uh, this students who have got plus two with physics, chemistry, and math can go for this course. It's a four-year course, and only thing it's very expensive. The minimum it will be forty to uh, sixty lakhs to study this course, and that is tremendous. Uh, the the salary or the remuneration after that will be very high. You can be a single pilot or a co-pilot or a multiple pilot, things like that. And apart from that, yeah, you are not interested in any one specialization area and you want to have some degree or things like that, there are other degree programs as well as diploma courses, where, like social work, mass communication, uh, performing arts, animation, multimedia, and like that. Yeah. One, one more thing, if you are not interested in any of these courses and you, are, you want to become an exclusive person like a law person, you can have a CA course, that is, you can become a chartered accountant, you can become a company secretary, or you can become a cost accountant. I think I'll tell that all these three courses have about a uh, structure, that is certified management accounting is and in fact a cost accounting course. All these courses, we have three stages, that is, whether it is CA, CMA, or CS. We have a foundation course. We have, um, once you pass the foundation course, you can come to the intermediate stage and then the final stage. Any person of studying plus two, as well as who have finished plus two, can go for this foundation course. In fact, during any of done your SLC itself, you can join this course. But uh, you can join the in the after passing the foundation course only when you have completed your plus two, and this is this is an exclusive authority. You become a uh, in the in the finance area. The CMA is uh, is in the finance area. Uh, the chartered accountant is also the financial area, and company secretary is basically law course. It's a law. All these are now these things are becoming mandatory for every organization. So getting a job. With a high package is useful. So those people who are studying maths can also come into this field. Next, if you want, if you are interested in education fields, okay, you can get after the maths group, you can get into that field, BA and things like that. So that is about the math group, maths group. If you are taking the biology group, I think it's very familiar. Why do you take the biology group? You want to get into that, become a doctor in different areas. Apart from that, you can have, you can go for a um, management course also when you have biology. The advantage of this management is now management is vital. Even a doctor to become an administrator, he needs to be a manager. So different uh, management courses can also be studied in the people having biology group. I think this is a different uh, courses uh, relating to biology. That is either a BDS, you can have BDS. Ayurvedic medicine, homeopathic medicine, pharmacy can be in pharmacy, and Farm B, that is a six-year course. In fact, it's the it's called the Doctor of uh, Pharmacy. Um, it's still more value than the other courses. And Bachelor of Physiotherapy, even a Bachelor of Anatomy Medicine. And apart from this, we can have diploma courses relating to this biological field also. That is nursing and the dairy technology, all these things can be done by people having biological uh, plus two group. We'll see the different things. Apart from that, law courses. In fact, any person who has done any stream of plus two can go for a law course. That is a very really plus point of view. It's a different direction altogether. In fact, you are the creators of law. That is, in fact, all you can become even up to the top level the Chief Justice of India or High Court judges inside. Like so only thing is, uh, you, you, the course is of five years duration. There is an integrated law course as well as you can have a law course after the degree also. Next. In the science group, you can have the management courses. You can go for management. So as I told you, whatever, whatever course, whether you are taking the arts group in plus two, you are taking the science group in plus two or in um, Maths group, you can go for management courses. That is a very plus point of this management course. And as I told you, there are different fields of management courses. It can be BBA, BMS, and 
two tracks. In fact, one quality management courses, even after plus two, that is an integrated management course. In fact, that is not available with universities, it is available only in IAS, etc. And there is an entrance for it. Uh, it's not available in IAMs in South India, but towards uh, there is demo in Kashmir, Bhopal, things like that. Only five IAMs have this particular integrated management course. That is directly from after plus two, you can go for a management course. It's as good as a degree plus an, that's an integrated course, degree plus an, uh, PG, you will get. That's a five year duration course. But the seats are very few on all India basis. Only five IAMs have this. Uh, integrated management course and hardly 50 seats per IAM is available on so it's very hard to get it it's very expensive also to study that course next when you have got a science group you can go for design courses uh, in fact uh, uh, you need to need not have arts co uh, group itself to have this design courses in fact it's a how oh, it's a growing field because Different types of uh, textile design, is, uh, product design, many of the products are conceived. How you can conceive a particular product, things like that. And apart from that, when you have got a science course, you can also go for just physical education courses. That's, uh, as I told you, in the same, same thing as math group, you can go for physical education courses, same as course in yoga. In fact, uh, yoga has become compulsory in some of the uh, in northern universities for all the programs. So, the uh, scope for this particular yoga education uh, is um, more. In fact, even related to health aspects also, this has become uh, more important now. And apart from that, you can have fashion courses as good as in um, your science group. You can have, uh, from there, as I told you, in, just like your study plans, you can have, also have different other courses. Then you have um, studied the um, biological group also. Also, if you want to go to teaching field with a BA or things like that, then you can have that particular option also after by, in the biological group. Now, the other different option after plus two is that people have in plus two is commerce background. What all courses they can have? The main thing that they go, the main course after taking plus two commerce is BCom. But apart from that, you can also go for law courses, BBA courses, management courses, and different communication courses. So let's look into these things. Um, the law students, it's uh, the commerce is something related to finance, but usually they will go for a BCom course or become CEC, CA, CMA, or CS persons. But they also have the option to go for management courses and diploma courses when you don't want to have the duration of the courses to be less um, want the duration to be less so there are different options in BCom the latest options being information technology BCom in computer science etc as I told you about chartered and accountant and um, company secretary the, most of the former students opt for these uh, courses also these students can also go for law courses as well as management courses. Already I have explained how it comes in the other uh, field, uh, group of people. Next, you can also go for technical courses. That is, those people who have studied this BCom can also opt for, they want to get into the computer field after studying commerce, they can go for Bachelor of Computer Application. I think now, earlier when this particular course, Bachelor of Computer Application was introduced, the maths was compulsory at present. Any degree, any plus two student can opt for a Bachelor of Computer Education course. Now, also, you know, the commerce students can also go for designing courses as well as physical, physical education courses as well as fashion courses. So, apart from that, they can also go for this uh, BA course that is social work, mass communication, and if they want to opt for uh, teaching field, they can go for BA courses, and if they want to have a good become a good aerospace or a cabin crew training course, there are different courses like that. And apart from that, there are nursing courses uh, where these commerce students can opt, and they can also opt for Bachelor of Statistics. As I told you, this is CA as well as Actuarial Science. This is a tougher. This is a 
course offered by commerce students. In, in fact, it is more tougher than the CA course, where in fact it's forecasting. An example is how the premium is forecast uh, for an insurance is predicted. Uh, and you need mathematical and high analytical ability if you want to study this particular uh, course. It's an actuarial course. In fact, next after, after that, um, let's see the course that is available for our students. Our students, all different that is to say uh, English language things like that. Apart from that, they have got the option of studying the management course and uh, uh, different management courses and communication courses. I think uh, there are different uh, arts courses present, present and people of these courses, arts in the sense it can be languages, it can be a specific field, it can be a music, in fact it can be a hospital, tourism and hospitality management, it can be library, science and the, in this arts people, the latest uh, developing field is interior designing, because usually uh, only people who are rich really used to have this good designing networks. Now everybody has this concept. Apart from that, they can have psychological courses and applied science courses also can be done by arts students. Now they have this. They can also have this technical courses. As I told you, BCA, that is Bachelor of Computer, uh, Computer Application, can be done by any plus two students. Apart from this, is arts students. They, they, they may not have got this plus two or either in the science or a maths group they wanted, but they, they are thought to be an application in the art group. Now they can have a different direction altogether in the law sector, having an integrated law course. Now, also, as I told you, any, any plus two student can have a management course. So art students can also have a management course, designing course, physical education course, fashion course, and he can also become a be it a uh, person if he wants to be a, get into the teaching or the educational field. Apart from that, these art students have different other courses like hair rosters, cabin crew training, as nursing course, other other things like that. Now, the art students can also have this uh, company secretary as well as this chartered accountant, etc. So, first two students, if you are not interested in any of these courses and you want to develop your skill. You can have degree in vocational training courses like, uh, in fact, this difference between an ordinary degree and vocational degree is your more emphasis is given on skill development. In fact, all management courses are vocational courses because they develop your skills apart from the theory. See, see the different uh, options that are available for vocational courses. You got apparel design, automobile, food processing, renewable energy. This is one of the major growing areas: renewable energy sources, uh, media that is digital media. Apart from that, you got in this vocational courses in agriculture, things like that. All these courses are um, is a three-year duration, and the very uh, plus point of this course is you you got you can exit from the course if you don't like it also. That is, in the first year, if you are exited, you will have it. You will be given a diploma, and in the second year, you will be given an advanced diploma if you exit from this uh, course. That is, in the second year, you are going to complete it. It's in fact, it's a three-year uh, program. Now, how to select? What are the opportunities available for different science fair, which is most sought after job trends? Usually, we select which area we want based on the job. First, first we select based on a game, then what are the job opportunities and how we can afford it and things like that. So the most common courses taken by science stream uh, plus two students are engineer, they try to become an engineer, doctor, commercial pilot, entrepreneur, that is they are not interested to work with uh, uh, as a subordinate, naturally they want to be a leader or uh, they want to start their own business. So that is entrepreneur, they become an entrepreneur. Apart from that, those commerce students, they in fact commerce stream students, they want to um, be an individual um, uh, that is accountant. So naturally they will select a cost accountant course. Also all these students can have uh, go for the government employment also. And how to select, so in one more thing, that is the art students. Art students have got different other options depending on they can be an artist, 
there can be a painter painter courses are there there can be a dance courses are there the dancer there can be a sculpture and in fact there can be a teacher as well as arts that is pure line sort of they can also select government employment apart from that there can be a management consultant when you go for a degree or any integrated program relating to management um, so arts courses i was telling about this dance now uh, opportunities in dance in fact this uh, is not utilized by depending on the passion these people is uh, you can have this um, chronography or tv and movies where there is scope at present you can be a wedding photographer you can be a dance studio person you can study in visual artist you can be a dance therapist you can be a fitness trainer all these comes under courses comes under dance courses and you can be a dance teacher also in fact after you have studied arts there is tremendous scope in one area in fact not much of expense in study it's a painting course in fact there is a degree or a diploma course in painting that is it may not be not available in everywhere but in some of the universities few places how the the parents hello ഇങ്ങനെ <laughs> 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 Uh, okay okay continue jay dolu sir so the painting courses is uh, as i told you an example long time back they used to have a brush for painting this is the, how this uh, program in painting actually consists now we have rollers the way that they draw out the things this is a research uh, done by these courses apart from that we have the drawing courses that is um, as i told you drawing courses it can be in be a uh, drawing and painting Uh, ba in painting bfa in painting bfa in applied arts also it can be a degree program as well as a diploma program depending on the you know, what they prefer if they want a lesser duration they can have it now how to select different career options after plus two so usually the most in science people usually they select engineering medicine or same pharmacy things like that commerce students they actually go for cg uh, company secretary they want they become managers or in the banking sector and arts students they prefer to go for a particular specialization or management area or in fact visual arts or performing arts etc now so those people who are studying uh, even science groups if they don't want to go to engineering or medical field they have got some other options they can go for the foreign language courses journalism and mass communication management courses fashion designing and agricultural and rural studies this is this agriculture and rural studies is a area where not much of uh, degree people are available at present where there is tremendous scope available now how to choose a particular course so usually the first thing how do you select this depends upon your these are the points you should consider when choosing a course this it, what is your aim you should opt for it not sometimes it may not be possible to have an aim your aim you make it you want to become an engineer or but you may not get a uh, seat or you may not be have enough uh, finance to study this course but that is the first option you should have because that actually helps you till the end in your life path because it is if you are right Path. and apart from that you you have to consider your your interest in the aim and interest are more or less same and based on interest you try to have the, the options at least 10 to 15 options selected to 15 options from different fields or specializations available in fact for a art student itself who wants to have a particular aim okay i want to be a a uh, legal provider or i want to be a person who can see these laws you can go for a law course like that so consider your interest and select about 10 to 15 courses you want to step up 
Then after that, you analyze these 10 or 15 uh, courses according to the advantages as well as the disadvantages. Also, how to get into these courses, what are the colleges offering these courses, what are the job opportunities available, and what is the um, benefit of it, that is based on your salary, things like that. Select, select the courses like that. And after that, you make it, you have selected 10 to 15 courses, then based on your aim, your ambition, you shortlist it, that is you reduce it to 4 to 5 courses. In any, this is this I am talking how to select a particular course, and in any group you have done, any group of clusters, in any field or any area you have done. After the 10 to 15 courses, you have shortlisted into 4 to, 4 to 5 courses, then find the practical knowledge of these courses, what you have selected. Probably you, have, you may be ranking it, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, things like that. So how? Have a practical knowledge how to get like this, sir. Or you uh, st participant or comment and I hope a little bit slow speech would be more understandable. Okay. So, no okay. pace okay. of uh, speech and the uh, I'm uh, Vishnath. Actually, the problem here is uh, we, okay. we had scheduled a webinar for one hour, um, and he have uh, sir has brought up so many um, uh, courses. I don't answer in a fast pace. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sir, yeah. Slow yeah. Down, you know, maybe it will be uh, helpful for him. Okay. Then. So, so practical knowledge is so, so I said that how to select the course. Sir, I have to say that 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 then, based on that, you shortlist it, reduce it, filter it. Then again, it comes to four or five maximum. Then find out the advantages and disadvantages of studying each course. I mean, I mean advantages or disadvantages, is whether this course is available from a recognized place, whether what is the salary package, what is the duration of the course, whether you will be able to finish it on time, things like that. So many other factors, your personal life as well as your financial aspects, so many aspects come into play while uh, deciding that. So based on that, you dis you have, you have select four or five courses. Then have a practical knowledge of this course, how to have it. Suppose you want to become a lawyer, uh, you, know, you want to join a law course, go to a lawyer, visit a local lawyer and ask him or her about the job profile what the profession demands, what all difficulties that lawyer faces. So you will know what is the advantages and disadvantages of that particular course. That is how you should select a, which course you want. So all the courses you have selected or which you are aiming, that is your vision and mission will depend upon your aim. That is most important and because that actually motivates you and to finish that particular course on time and achieve uh, a very high position in life. Now, usually based on the job opportunities, we we have to select the area also. What what are the best future job opportunities in India? In fact, this is as as a the latest uh, concept which is in demand. Which job has got demand? As you know, as everybody knows it. In the COVID situation, so many areas have changed. In fact, digital marketing, information technology has had tremendous influence. In fact, digital marketing has had tremendous influence or tremendous rise, the demand increased. So let's have a look into the job opportunities which might increase or which might usually flourish in the few years to come. Based on that, you have to select. So one is digital marketing. I think it's the job opportunities there are more. In fact, in the COVID situation also has it's that also the population increases there, so digital marketing area will increase. Next, robotic engineering. In fact, the advancement in this technological field, you must be aware. Mostly we are we are we are since there is a shortage of persons or the population is increasing, we depend more on machines. So robotic engineering field is a more demanded field now. 
So based on that, you should select the course. Next is the actuarial science. You help other persons, as I told you, in fixing or deciding what they want. So that is basically this is a financial field in the insurance. How to decide? As I told you, how what is the insurance uh, premium you have to pay over the number? Of, this is this is a growing field and it is very hard also to study and it's related to commerce and mathematics. Next is cyber security. You are also familiar with this. The jobs increase. It's a multiple for 12x times 12 percent increase. 12x times which is growing cyber security area. Next is backend developers. Usually uh, every year that is around 4 lakh applications are launched individually in all this. We have these different websites like Google Pay and Apple Store. The backend developer area is developing. This is a technological field area. And because new websites are being developed at a very fast pace, that is 400 websites that are created every minute all across the globe. So naturally the opportunities here are more. Now we are in that particular uh, field, information technology field. Next, career counselors. I think decision making is very uh, becoming very hard for every person. So career counselors, you can also see that career counselors are developing not only throughout the world but also in India also. The other most developing field is a data scientist. I think you are also familiar at this um, this latest technological field, this area is having a flourishing field. So, so uh, the job opportunities in future also is more. One the other area that is having most other developing is banking sector because related to finance. So people are related to the government, either in the government or in the public sector. This banking area is growing at a very fast pace. The other area is a drone operator. As robotic engineers, this drone operating business is also growing at a very fast pace. Uh, you, are, you are also in the every day you hear some some uh, news relating to this drone. It's news not only by defense, but all other fields, especially in the forest area, because safety of the individuals plays a major part. So drone up has become a common, even in photography, they have this everywhere. This field is going to be So based on that, the demand for this field will increase. Next, dietitian. Because there is environmental damage or happening throughout the world. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Jagdish, sir. Or you run the slide road, maybe we can give uh, them uh, an opportunity to interact. Okay, so that, uh, okay. Time okay, one minute. Okay, I just want to. Uh, 5.50. Oh, right, okay. okay. Uh, so, dietitian. Whether how to have this good dietitian, you know, um, Science field, Anna. Next, a financial planner. Actually, as I told you, banking sector is growing. The financial planning sector is will increase. Next, event management. This is everywhere that is happening. Now we don't organize uh, ourselves. We give that uh, any activity we give it to other persons. So event management is a field that is in demand. The other field is interior designing because this, this earlier it was only for rich people. Now it is done by all the persons. Next, environmental management, the other area which are tremendous, as I told you in the case of agriculture also, that is why we have the such Bharat Abhiyan schemes, like, things like that, and home baker, how to make proper food, things like that, and marriage counselors, this also people are not able to take proper decisions, so we have counseling, especially in this area where the diverse and uh, the personal life of our people are not uh, getting destroyed, so this is the area where you have and management people are related to this, this is the management related field and machine learning professionals as well as recruiters because the population is increasing and people need good recruiters. Earlier recruitment was considered uh, was not considered as an asset. Now recruiters is considered as an asset and physiotherapist, I think you know different uh, body related issues are now very common this is very common now and full stack developers. This is another um, area in the technological the courses where it is developing because you become the jack of all trades. Now, as I tell you, how to select, um, so I, I, I just because of the time shortage, I uh, come to the uh, end part of it. How to choose a college? You know, I give you an idea of what are the courses you have to select, how to choose a college. First, whatever may be the course you want, first you should look is 
whether the college has got affiliation, that is, it is recognized by the government. It's not, it has usually, government means it's an university, it's, it's an affiliated um, college. And what are the courses offered by that college, as well as what is the faculties, what are the facilities or faculties, in, in, not only in teaching field, but also in the infrastructure field, what is the location and what is the placement opportunities these colleges are, what is the job they are doing. This is how you should select which college you want to set to which course. Okay, okay with this uh, few words. Uh, I come to the end of the session. Thank you, uh, Jagdish yes, sir. Now, uh, let us... Uh, yeah, th thank you very much. Uh, because you have given a, a comprehensive information regarding the courses. I know yes. that it is too much of uh, information for the students. The, as I said, we'll be having so many uh, similar sessions. The so first one was about lucrative courses, which Ahalya was offering. This is like, what are the different courses that you, are, you have in uh, market? And you are the yeah. ones who will have to pick that. And no matter which course you pick, ultimately, he, uh, Jagdisa said that you, why are, why, why are we studying? I'm not going to study. 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 I'm not so that will be more of uh, a personality de development. How are you able to communicate with others? Such things are also there. So our follow-up sessions will be based on that. So that if you pick a course, you know how to pick a course, how to uh, choose a course that, you, that, that interests you, how to pick a college. And but once you know which are the course that, you want, course that you want to study, you will naturally try to find out what are the eligibility criteria, right? If you want to do an engineering. That is, if you want to do B.Tech, you know that you will have to write IIT JE or you will have to, if you are looking for in Kerala, you will have to write Kerala Engineering and Medical Entrance Test. That is a KEEM test. Yes. Like if you want to know, uh, if you want to do an MBBS, you know, you will have to write NEET. If you want to uh, do um, law, you will have to write CLAT. You know all that. And if you are looking for architecture, you know that you will have to write NATA, NATA. So naturally, the first job is to identify which course you want to pursue. You know, if you know that you want to go to Coimbatore, you know which bus you are going to go. From then, see the eligibility and how are you preparing yourself for eligibility. So let me come to the case. If you are looking for B.Tech, you will have to write KEEM exam, right? See, how should I coach myself for KEEM? Some students can join. Uh, maybe some of them will be doing self-preparation. Some will join uh, entrance coaching institutions. And we also, in Ahalya, we also had offered KEEM coaching. Which helped students um, a lot. And in uh, if, uh, students who were looking for MBA, they had to write KMAT examination. Ahalya School of Management had offered KMAT coaching. Now, if you want to offer a free item, but they will be doing paid. So you can, if whichever entrance exams that Ahalya is offering, you can take advantage of that free of cost. We will be informing you through uh, um, the principal of Ahalya School of um, Ahalya Public School. As I am telling you regarding Ahalya, because most of the students here are from Ahalya Public School, and it is our responsibility to uh, guide you properly also. But <laughs> And that's what we are doing. And in future, is the now we, it is just the, uh, the 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 names of the courses you have heard. In uh, in next session, maybe we will be bringing up with uh, some eligibility factors or how to identify a course. Maybe one session we will dedicate for that, and we will see, we will find out. And you can also give us suggestions. I have given you a, a feedback form. You can give us suggestions on what is the particular thing that you want us to take forward. But Namaka Vade, we have engineers we have uh, medical professionals we have managers we have so we have so many uh, resources available for you you can ask us how can we help you okay other than other than okay, we have opened that to you you let us know how you want uh, want us to guide you and we will guide you accordingly either the test waters are we are just giving you a brief of things and whatever you pick from it it's good and how you want us to take um, um, guide you forward Please let us know and we will do it accordingly. Okay, we are just laying a bridge so that 
you can walk to us and you can take our support and help and we are all uh, for that if you can give suggestions or uh, uh, doubts on dangle you can ask either you can unmute and ask or you can put it in the chat box so we will have uh, similar sessions don't see that uh, don't feel that ningal uh, saturday evening one hour spend idu and angane don't never feel that way because you you would have knowingly or unknowingly you would have gathered a lot of information from this appo naale ningal courses choose cheyina samayathe ee korchu courses gal ningalde thalayil ingane ring cheyum find out if you need any further guidance call us okay a uh, jagdish sir number unna sir chat box il tholu sir Uh, so that you know if, if at all they want any further information from you they can contact you and i will put my number also here endengil specifically ee parna courses gale petti valladum koodal ariyanayittundengil you can ask or see our doors are always always open for you we will we will be meeting here after frequently അപ്പൊ എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടത് അറിയേണ്ടത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാൻ താല്പര്യപ്പെടുന്നത് അപ്പൊ കോഴ്സസ് ഐ നോ ബട്ട് ഇഫ് സ്പെസിഫിക്കലി ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് സംതിങ് യു വോണ്ട് നോ ഓർ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ലുക്കിംഗ് ഫോർ എ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് സെഷൻസ് വി കൻ ഓഫർ യു ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ ലുക്കിംഗ് ഫോർ എ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേറ്റീവ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് നോട്ട് യു മേ ഹാവ് യു മേ ബി ലേണിംഗ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മോർ ആസ് എ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഓൺ അ റോട്ട് റോട്ട് മെത്തേഡ് ബട്ട് വെൻ യു ഗോ ടു എൻ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ വെൻ യു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് വർക്കിംഗ് ഫോർ എ കമ്പനി ദേ വോണ്ട് more an oral communication right somebody who can uh, interact freely and openly apa adine we have something called a communicative english adana we can we can offer sessions for that also so you can you can just uh, yeah, feedback form il ningalku ningalde requirement endanu vida accordingly the next session uh, we will be planning accordingly so is there anything uh, that um, specifically you would want to uh, say you can ഞാൻ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പൻസിനോടാണ് ചോദിക്കുന്നത് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട്സോ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസോ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ യു ക്യാൻ പുട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ചാറ്റ് ബോക്സ് സൂര്യ കേട്ടില്ലേ എനിക്ക് യെസ് യു ആക്ച്വലി ബേർലി ബട്ട് ഗോ ഹെഡ് ഐ ട്രൈ ട്രൈ ടു ഗെസ് വാട്ട് യു സീ ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് വോണ്ട് ടു നോ അബൌട്ട് ജേർണലിസം 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 റൈറ്റ് Okay, uh, Jagdish sir, uh, journalism yes. information? Yes, that is a BA journalism courses and uh, there is no entrance for it. Uh, minimum, any, 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 any art student or any degree students, uh, plus two students can join in that course. And it's available, it depends upon, uh, you'll have to see the university website, which, which college are offering these courses. Okay. elite universities do uh, of uh, ask for uh, like they do conduct entrance examination so you need to pick where if you are doing journalism in kerala you may not have to write an entrance but yeah. if you are looking for uh, uh, like the jnu like uh, or delhi university you will have to write an entrance if yeah. you are looking for studying in central universities definitely they will have entrance so yeah. uh, see which is which are the place that you are planning to study and then accordingly you can if in kerala we don't have an entrance exam for journalism yeah. One more thing in the chat box is uh, psychology. It's BA psychology. For that, we need uh, uh, physics, chemistry, biology in plus two. And uh, some universities have entrance and it's a three-year course. Some universities are not having entrances. It depends on the area. Okay, and psychology is, 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 is uh, quite interesting to me because yeah. I'm, I've also done my master's in psychology. So uh, that is a course. or or a, or a, a skill that is very much in demand in uh, in in the current times you know that because of this covid covid so many suicides are happening it is not that people have all resources everything is abundant with them but they don't know how to manage their lives so that is where a psychologist really comes into a uh, play and it's is an amazing course even psychology in kerala you don't have an entrance but then definitely outside you will uh, elite colleges and universities you will have to write an entrance okay shall we find uh if there are no more questions we can um sir is it possible to go for psychology after plus 2 if i haven't opted for biology in plus 2 uh, uh it is pcb biology should be the eligible condition the eligible condition is physics chemistry and biology 
but then uh, i guess i'm i think that is the eligibility in uh, maybe you can check in other universities if they have any uh, any um, uh, such eligibility problem because uh, biology is necessary the reason is most of our thinking but there are, there are a lot of electrolytes and um, uh, uh, you know electrical uh, charges playing in our brain right so you need to know how your brain functions if you have to react or respond properly you need to know how your brain is functioning so maybe that is the reason biology is considered a mandatory uh, subject but then we can you can check other universities uh, if uh, that is possible yes another question related to aviation aviation okay aviation i think that is a it's a technical course related to be and uh, apart from that there is a degree course i think nearby you know in in palakkad itself uh, some, some colleges are offering aviation courses uh, as well as in uh, chennai and things like that technical uh, courses for aviation but uh, um, i would like to add on if uh, instead of taking aviation if you are looking for btech aviation or btech aeronautical sciences everybody well uh, in um, like last month we had a session called btech padana konda gunam undo in that uh, we had um, learned people speak about the uh, technical education course they said that even in uh, iit madras they have uh, aerospace engineering there yeah. but when uh, like you know uh, isro and uh, public organizations come there for campus placement they pick btech mechanical students than btech aviation uh, like aerospace students they said that btech mechanical has all base about uh, the mechanical engineering and then they can be coached for the aerospace thing but aerospace thing uh, people don't have that much of in depth knowledge about the machines so when you choose what what we would always request you to do is to the to the uh, knowledge of the students never pick a niche to a uh, course if for your graduation under graduation under graduation vallare specific aitla course ul urikkilum choose cheyirathu choose cheythu kanyal naala industry ku endengilum prashnangal vannu kanyal namakku joli kittan prayasam avu അണ്ടർ ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റിൽ എപ്പോഴും ബേസ് കോഴ്സുകൾ എടുക്കുക പോസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രാജുവേഷനിൽ നീഷ് കോഴ്സ് നീഷ് കോഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ വളരെ സ്പെസിഫിക് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കോഴ്സുകൾ സി ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ റോബോട്ടിക്സ് സി ബട്ട് ഇൻസ്റ്റെഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോയിങ് ഫോർ എ ബി ടെക് ഇൻ റോബോട്ടിക്സ് ഡു ബി ടെക് ഇൻ മെക്കാനിക്കൽ ഓർ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ഓർ ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ യു ക്യാൻ കോച്ച് യുവർ സെൽഫ് യു ക്യാൻ ഡു എ ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് ഓഫ് സർട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ കോഴ്സസ് ആൻഡ് ലേൺ റോബോട്ടിക്സ് പക്ഷെ റോബോട്ടിക്സ് എടുത്താൽ നാളെ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ it may affect our job opportunities similarly we have seen such a fate of mba uh, mba in aviation management like what happened was our our kingfisher airlines down i upon a lot of jobs of these people got affected but we always say that instead of going for such niche course go for base course for mba we suggest him we say that go for the uh, five uh, common courses that will always have Uh, jobs about uh, an undergraduate degree ningal padikkumbam base course gal choose cheyyu adin post graduation edukkunna samayathu idu pole niche and specific aayittu edukkam problem illa because you can, there are a lot of certification courses available appo ningal kandu or base uh, degree edutha shesham or ee certification course cheyyanengil definitely you will get gain information and knowledge about it base degree is there to support you to keep you safe and the Uh, certification or other um, uh, courses on top of that will fetch you jobs also appo rendu nammala balanced a irikkum allengil pinne you should be an extremely risk taker that that we leave it up to you, up to you. so now here um, th- th- these are the general basic things that we could give you we, uh, we have not given you a specific answer to uh, your questions definitely uh, for which are the um, uh, post eligible i am not very sure about that uh, jagdish sir do you have an answer for this understand so all post on women eligible for indian navy yes nowadays uh, indian navy uh, is having is uh, taking women also so most of the post, post i think uh, indian women, women can apply for indian navy based on the criteria that is given uh, but maybe uh, uh, we don't have a specific answer for that yeah, i'm sorry yeah. for that maybe next next uh, session we will uh, come up with a clear uh, answer for that or yes. we can find it and we'll uh, pass it on to you now it is 5 minutes past our session uh thank you all for uh, spending this time with us and see this is the beginning of uh, building a relationship 
അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഇതിന് മുമ്പ് നമ്മളെ ഒന്നും പരിസ്പ മേ ബി ഒരു സെഷനിൽ മാത്രമേ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടാവുള്ളൂ ഓർ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് യു ആർ സീങ് അസ് ഫോർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ബട്ട് വി വിൽ ഹാവ് എൻ ഓൺ ഗോയിങ് ഇന്ററാക്ഷൻ വിത്ത് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടോപ്പിക്സ് അപ്പൊ ഇത് ഇത് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് നോ ഗിവിങ് യു എ ബ്രോഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് അബൌട്ട് ദിസ് ബട്ട് വി വിൽ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി കം അപ്പ് വിത്ത് സോ മീൻസ് സം ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ടോപ്പിക്സ് വെയർ വി ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് ഫൺ ഓൾസോ സോ ഹോപ്പ് ടു സി യു ഇൻ അവർ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ സെഷൻസ് and please give your uh, feedback and suggestion in the feedback form that i had given you can give on which topic you would like to um, hear from us and we will be bringing in uh, people from all walks of life too but in a specific i don't know we have we, we can give you sessions on any topic that you um, tell us which is use which is going to be useful for you and now let me go on to the vote of thanks part jagdish sir thank you very much for spending i know that you have worked a lot in finding all these uh, different courses karanam sir oru enki thonu 1000 til mele courses gal sir the slide il namukku kaanan patti and it is it is not an easy job you have done an amazing tremendous work on that thank you very much for spending time for yeah, our thank students you, thank you very much thank you and hope uh, some of you have gained some information from this and if people who found Uh, found it totally confusing you can reach out to us we have given our phone number here and uh, hope to see you in future with different topics maybe we can uh, you can you can pitch it big uh, pitch the uh, sessions that you want from us you can on the feedback form and we will take it forward from there thank you all for your time and have a wonderful day and wish you all the best for your future choose the course that is um, apt for you and uh, something that is going to give you a great career and career is not money career is something that you are going to enjoy for the next half of your life or next um, three fourth of your life so pick something like that and keep learning all the time appo ningalde degree kazhinjathu kondo ningalde pg kazhinjathu kondo ningalde course ningalde life il career ennalladhu avasanikkunnilla appo oru oru pg kazhinju kanjal okay i have done my pg it's enough i know keep learning keep learning new skills maybe uh, after your uh, P- pg learn some fine arts learn to draw learn music learn dancing and enjoy your life have fun and give back to the society also thank you all have a wonderful weekend and let me let us sign off till we meet next have a great career ahead for you thank you ma'am yeah thank you all bye thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you all bye good evening Thank you ma'am